Good morning, you guys. All right, this is my first day vlogging with the new camera, and it is quite hefty. Um, okay, so this is my four-day weekend. Um, I've got two four-day weekends a month. The way that my schedule is set up, I work 10-hour days at my job. Um, and for those of you who don't know, or if you're new here, I am an accountant. I have like the goofiest work schedule ever. Um, I have two four-day weekends a month, and this is one of my four-day weekends. So, um, this morning here, in about 15 minutes, Kaya has her um, well check, and it takes about 10 minutes to get there, so we need to get going. Um, I need to get Kaya out of the garage. We have a really big announcement for you guys today. Okay guys, um, all right, so Kaya had three shots and she did so good. Um, so we just got done with vaccinations. Like I said, she did really good. Um, Kaya's height's in the 77th percentile, weight's in the 92nd. Very smart to head for her age. Um, so we're very happy with that. So we're at Starbucks and we're gonna grab some celebratory treats. Um, Kaya got like a kid's hot chocolate. The white hot chocolate is so bomb at Starbucks. If you haven't had it, try it. Otherwise, the bacon. tuxedo hot chocolate, very good. bacon and eggs. Yep, and we got you a bacon gouda sandwich. And they, and they want pancakes. Pancakes? Well, they don't want pancakes at Starbucks, honey. A pancake sandwich. A pancake sandwich? Okay. I'm really surprised. Kaya did really well. She cried during the shots, but she, like I said, did really well. Um, like did everything the doctor asked her to um, like during all of like the quote-unquote testing and yeah she just did super good so all right I'm gonna add some money to my Starbucks cards so that I can pay and get rewards for it so vaccinations are done and then we're gonna go to Target because I have to get formula and one other thing um, for, and then actually I might get some lunch stuff while I'm there as well I gotta say and then we need to go home and I have a very big surprise for you guys. Thank you. Is that mine? Hmm? Huh? Okay. Yep. Yours and mine. Thank you. Are you wanting a copy of your seat today? No, that's okay. Thank you. Okay, this one's mommy's. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. How cute is this little Christmas cup? There you go, kiddo. And bacon gouda. Just for you.
All right, you guys, this is their big surprise. Okay, so this is Aspen. She's our mini Australian Shepherd. I don't really show the dogs like a ton in my videos. I got a question the other day asking if I still had my dogs. Of course, I still have my puppies. They're always in the background of the videos at night, but they just like, they'll sit right here. This is where they like chill out. But yeah, they're just like not super crazy, especially once they come inside. Um, they have like an outside enclosure too, so that they can like run around and hang out during the day. They're never like fully on like kennels. They're not in like small kennels. They have like a big enclosure. But anyways, Aspen and Coda, yeah, are you a mama again? They have puppies. So she had six puppies, four boys, two girls. Um, she's had one litter before and they were so incredible. The dogs turned out to be the most amazing dogs. Um, and we actually um, had like all friends and family um, take them last time and same with this time. All of these are almost spoken for. Um, we had family members approach us asking if we would just have one more litter um, because it's just, they're such a good sized dog. Aspen's not too big, not too small. Anyway, so we have one more litter of puppies. Um, like I said, four boys, two girls. I'm really trying to convince Mike that we should keep a girl because Coda is about eight years old. Um, and we, we always said that their last litter that we would keep one of them because, um, like I said, Coda's eight and we don't know how much longer he's going to be Hi, with Mom. us. But Aspen is just the best mama. And look at those sweet little puppy faces that are hiding behind her. Look at those little noses. So stay tuned as these little guys grow. Like I said, six of them. Oh, they're just the sweetest. They're the best puppies, the best dogs that we've ever had. So everybody's happy and healthy and we have this like little enclosure for her we bring her into here during the day and then we give her some alone time yeah we do we give you some alone time at night don't you mama okay kaya well let's let mama be alone okay let's let mama ask them be alone with her puppies and feed them yeah you want some love you did a good job mama surprise puppies they're all eating so good mama's doing so good look at you Good job, Abby. Yeah, she's the best mama. So like I said, surprise! That was our big announcement today. That our dogs had puppies, we're super excited. So that was our big news, you guys. Surprise, we have a litter of puppies. Um, this was something that we worked really closely with our vet and our vet technician on. Um, so anyways, this is their second litter that they've had. Um, and again, they are almost all spoken for. We're very excited to welcome these little puppies into our home. Um, since we've had puppies before, we do have everything on hand for whelping, things like that. So, um, and Aspen is the best mama ever. So, anyways, very excited to welcome these little babies into our house. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot more of these puppies in the next eight weeks as we nurture them and help them grow. Um, again, we work very closely with our vet. Um, we have a, an amazing vet um, out um, outside of town a little bit and they always help us um, with the whelping process and things like that. So, and this is Aspen's last litter. Like I said, this litter was really just for some close friends and family that weren't, a weren't able to get puppies last time. We do have a couple of them that are available, um, but, but yeah, I will be sharing lots of these puppies over the next eight weeks and I'll bring you guys throughout the chaos, but I am, I am, so excited. I'm overwhelmed. Um, we weren't expecting them this week. Um, I was actually more so expecting them closer to this weekend. Um, but nonetheless, I was so excited. <laughs> Within 24 hours, Riker had a double ear infection. Our furnace went out on, oh my gosh, I'm going to cry. Like thinking I was so overwhelmed. Um, Thursday night, our furnace went out and it was like 55 degrees in the house. Um, and nobody was available to come and fix the furnace. And I had a sick baby in and I had all the kids in bed with me. I had both the kids in bed with me and Mike um, so we could keep them nice and warm and they were warm. They were sweating. We had lots of blankets on so that wasn't a problem. We stayed nice and warm in there but it was just stressful. I felt like an episode of Survivor. <laughs> it was really it was really intense and then the next day at lunch Mike came home to check on Aspen and um, she had had her puppies all by herself which last time I actually helped um, birth all the puppies um, with the coaching of my vet and I was really sad that I wasn't able to be there for her this time because Aspen is my dog um, she's my fur baby so anyways um, yes complete 
chaos, but we're very excited. My heart is just overpouring. Our furnace is fixed, but anyways, yeah, we're very excited to welcome this little litter of puppies. So I'm very excited to be keeping one for ourselves this time because like I said, Coda is just the best dog that we have ever had. And I'm, I'm sad that he's already eight years old. Um, but Border Collies can live like 12 to 16 years, so we could have another eight years with him or we could only have like another four. So let me show you really quick what I got at Target. Um, not anything super over exciting, but I did find a couple I did find a couple of really fun finds in the Target value section today. Um, I love going on Thursdays and Fridays because my Target seems to restock on those days and it's a little bit quieter if I go um, right away in the morning. There's not a whole ton of people there except for some cute little old ladies that Kaya likes to talk with. I have a sticker on me from um, Kaya's vaccinations this morning. She wanted me to have a sticker too. So um, yeah, so Kaya did really good. Um, she ended up getting um, her kindergarten vaccinations today because they um, say that developmentally that they handle them a little bit better when they're four versus five. Um, so we did that today and she's doing really, really good. So um, for Kaya's treat, I'm gonna run through the things that I got at Target really quick. Um, for Kaya's treat, she chose to get um, a little tree from the Target value section for us to decorate. Um, so I'll probably include this in our um, in a Christmas decorate with me. I'll probably do like a bedrooms video. Um, I need to get the actual like regular Christmas decorate with me video up finally. Um, now that I have this camera in and I can finish that up for you guys. So this is the, the little tree that Kaya chose. And to go along with that, um, well last year we did have her do uh, um, her own tree as well. Um, but it was like, a, it was a flock. It was, it was the flocked burlap trees from Wonder Shop. We got one of those and put it in her room. Um, but the ornaments that we got were like breakable. I didn't realize they were breakable, but um, and it, she just kind of destroyed it last year, all the ornaments and stuff. So um, I did get a few non-breakable things for her this year. I got a new strand of the um, twinkle lights and this is like a copper wire with um, like just like soft white um, warm twinkle lights. And then for one of the decorations, she chose um, like a pink reindeer. If you guys can't tell, our um, theme is like teal and pink. Um, and then we also got this cute little pink gnome. She's like, oh, I don't know if I like that. It doesn't have any eyes, but I grabbed it because I thought it was cute. Okay, this little tree. I saw this tree, this pink tree, and I thought it was super cute. I don't know if I'm gonna put it, I'll probably put it in the kids' room um, next to the teal one because their theme is like pink and teal. Um, and then for the tree, we also got this little let's stay home um, hot chocolate um, ornament, super cute. And then I was smart this year and I got um, unbreakable or non-breakable um, mini ornaments. So that is what we got for the tree. Um, I grabbed just like a few random decoration things. I'm gonna hang this up in the kids' room. Um, I found this in the value section and it's that teal color. Um, so again, like teal and pink is what we're doing in their room for decorations. And um, I grabbed a couple of little things for downstairs in the basement for on the shelves. Um, these were all like $3, um, this cute little, I think they're all Wonder Shop. Yeah, Wonder Shop. Three bucks, a little Christmas tree to go next to it. And then I found these little I love these little burlap flocked trees. This one was $3. Um, the taller one is $5 only. So if you like decorating with these and doing several of them, head on over to Target. All right, and then um, my wine glasses keep like breaking and they're just old and I needed to replace them. So um, in the value section, they have these iridescent wine glasses. I just thought they were super cute. Um, and I actually might use this for a couple of gift ideas this year too. Um, they've got like cute like gift baskets get stuff um, at the target value section. I was trying to show you guys that in my footage, um, but um, these are super cute and I got two sets of them. They were $3 each, so $6 for four glasses. Um, a really good deal. I, as you guys can see, these are like the shirts that I wear all the time when I'm at home. I have a black one like this, I have a tan one like this, a yellow one like this, and um, I have 
now I have like a mauve, like it's coming up like red, but it's more of like a pinky red, um, but just like one of those button down shirts and I do like to like tie the front up in a knot. Super soft though. And um, Wild Fable always has super cute tops. So, um, and then I got a few baby things as well. Um, I got one of these Itsy Ritzy Mama Baby Snack Everything pouches. Um, I, there's just, there's times where I'm grabbing um, snacks for Riker and we're like on the go and I wanna like put it in something really quick. Um, you could probably even fit like a sandwich in here, which would be super great. Um, but if you don't wanna bring along like a big thing of puffs, um, I got two of these, by the way. These are Riker's favorite puffs. They come with a little bit more than the Gerber. Um, I will sometimes just stick them in here, or um, I've even stuck like strawberries and bananas in here. It's a little bit messier to clean out, but it's nice that I can um, grab this on the go. Um, I also got um, Riker this cute little, it's like a coffee cup. Um, it makes like noise and stuff. Um, it was originally $9.99 and I got a clearance for $4.98 and he loved it in the store. Um, kept him occupied the whole time. Um, I grabbed another one of these like mesh pulp feeders because um, Riker loves to like not on like bananas and stuff. Um, and then we'll put like mangoes in here too. Um, I can't find where, I can't find his other one. So anyways, um, we got that little mesh feeder. Um, I grabbed him some more socks because I always lose baby socks. And then I grabbed myself um, a pair of socks because they were on an end cap, they were five bucks and they're like super warm and fuzzy. So I will totally be sporting these this weekend. If you guys can't tell, I love socks. Um, I grabbed Chipotle's because I love to make um, a Chipotle sauce for like tacos or like um, salads, things like that. Um, and then I grabbed, I'm gonna try and do, I love the spicy Italian chopped salad from Subway, um, which is why I got the Chipotle, so I can do like a Chipotle Southwest um, dressing, and then I'll do um, like pepperoni and salami on there. Um, and then I also love chopped green peppers, along with, um, I just got like iceberg um, lettuce, shredded iceberg lettuce, and then I'll chop some spinach up with that too, um, along with some beefsteak tomatoes. So just a little bit of groceries. Um, I didn't have anything on hand for salad. Um, and then I've got a couple more Christmas pieces here that I got. Um, I grabbed a couple um, of these. I thought they were super cute. I'm gonna put these on the tree upstairs. Um, grabbed this little guy. This was like $3 um, in the Wonder Shop section at Target. So I grabbed this. I'm gonna probably put this somewhere up here. Um, and then the last thing that I grabbed was this, I don't even know if I'm like gonna be able to show this on camera, but um, we don't have a tree downstairs, so I figured I would just put this, it's like a Christmas tree, like wooden Christmas tree. Um, I'm gonna put this up on the wall downstairs um, for like the quote unquote tree. I might hang some ornaments from it, we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna put that up um, in my Christmas decorate with me video, but that's everything that I got at Target, just like a really quick haul. For you guys, um, I know you guys love seeing what I get at Target, and I go to Target weekly just because um, when I go and grab like formula and diapers, things like that, um, I'll also grab some other miscellaneous stuff while I'm there. All right, well, that is going to wrap it up for today's video, just a quick vlog. Um, on Tuesday next week, I will be recording my 5 a.m. morning working mom routine, um, and then I will also be recording on probably Wednesday night, I'll record my um, evening routine and how I prep for that 5 a.m. wake time. Um, it's definitely what keeps me nice and um, organized is by prepping the night before, laying out the kids' outfits, things like that. So, all right, you guys, I am going to put the kids down for a nap, probably um, chop up some salad for lunch for myself, and I will see you guys on Sunday for a decorate with me video for Christmas. Okay, bye, you guys.